I'm super focused. I'm super inclusive. I'm super curious. I'm super abled. What kind of super are you? I'm Dean Indira Shetty. Welcome to Godolkin University. Hello and welcome to another special episode of Superhero Club, your go-to show all about comic book inspired original series on Prime Video. I'm your host Stephanie Williams. Before we get too far in, if you want more superhero content like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Prime Video channel. Today, we are focusing our attention on the new Prime Video original series, Gen V, a spin-off series of the boys focused on the lives of young hero hopefuls at Godokin University before they become the Queen Maze, A-Train, and Deeps of the World. In the spirit of young suits navigating college life, let's think of this video as your official orientation to Gen V or Gen V 101. So without further ado, let's explore all the different ways Gen V fits into the universe of the boys. As we mentioned before, Gen V is a spin-off series of Prime Video's The Boys that asks, what would the experience be at a college dedicated to producing Vot's next generation of suits? The answer is Gen V's Kadoki University, where some former and current members of the Seven hone their abilities. Gen V follows the journey of a new group of hero hopefuls as they put their physical, sexual, and moral boundaries to the test. Young soups compete for Godokin's highly coveted top ranking while coming to grips with the type of heroes they will become once the university's dark secrets come to light. Let's start things off with an obvious connection through tone. Like the boys, Gen V is not shy at all about blood and gore, which we fully expect from the former. From the first episode, there is no shortage of moments bringing the carnage. While some moments are pure spectacle in nature, like the first time we witness Golden Boy in action as he takes on a fellow student in a friendly sparring match, others follow intense emotional moments, like when Marie uses her powers to save a woman from a party trip gone wrong at the club. These moments are well-crafted and firmly established the kind of gritty world Jin B resides in. And speaking of gritty world, most of the characters introduced are new. However, some have varying connections to the boys' TV series. Marie Moreau is one of the main characters of Gen B. Part of her backstory is that she was a resident of the Red River Institute before she graduated and began her first year at the Dokken University. If you remember, the Boys series first introduced the Red River Institute in Season 3. We learned that Vought International created a place where orphaned children with powers could be supervised. In Season 3, Huey visits the facility under the guise of wanting to adopt a child, but actually to secretly investigate Victoria Newman's past. Marie is inspired to become the first black woman to join the Seven after watching A-Train, a former number one ranked God U graduate, take his place on the team. A-Train isn't the only character from the Boys series who attended God U. There are other famous Vought superheroes like Queen Maeve, The Deep, Blue Hawk, and Tech Knight mentioned as former students. In a conversation with A-Train in season three of The Boys, Blue Hawk reminds A-Train that they were both trained by Coach Brink to dominate totally. If Brink sounds familiar, it's because we finally meet him in the Gen B series. Richard Brinkerhoff is a renowned author and professor at the university's crime fighting school. Dad used Dean and Durashetti is also seen talking to Ashley Barrett, Vault International's current CEO and the boys. Given that the university students often participate in the Vi Hero Drive to help protect America's major cities, of course they'd be in direct contact. Not all students attend Godoki University with a desire to find a spot on the 7 or land any of those contracts. Some of them, like Emma Meyer, aka Little Cricket, are enrolled in the university's Crimson Countess School of Performing Art. Emma has dreams of one day starring in Vought Plus movies. Donna the 7's writer and director, Adam Borg, who appeared in the Boys TV series, is also a guest professor at Godokin, teaching one of Emma's acting classes. Speaking of classes and schools within Godoki University, just like the Crimson Countess School of Performing Arts, the Lamplighter School of Crime Fighting is also named after a superhero we've met in the boys. If you recall, Lamplighter is Starlight's predecessor in the Seven, and there are even more connections. At the Lamplighter retired, he became an orderly at Sage Grove Center, a psychiatric hospital where Vought would experiment on patients to stabilize Compound V. In episode two, Andre mentions Sage Grove as the place where Sam's brother died, or maybe didn't. And that's been your orientation to Gen V. Who knows what other secrets reside at Kadoki University and the world it lives in at large. We've only begun to scratch the surface of everything that makes Gen V the perfect spinoff series to the boys. So please come back for more Superhero Club videos like this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you can catch new episodes of Gen V only on Prime Video as well as all three seasons of the boys. Mm -hmm.